welcome back to KTR videos. So today's tutorial is on Bailey Baseball Glove and she is one of the adorable season five Shopkins from the sports team. So if you wanna draw her along with me, then just keep watching this video. Okay guys, we are going to start off by making a curved line or slightly curved line on our paper like this. This is the left hand side of uh, Bob Bailey Baseball Glove. And from here, we're going to loop around like this, okay? And then come down just a little bit and then loop back up again, like this. And we're gonna slowly make our way back up again. And what we're doing right now, guys, is we're working on the, um, the finger part of the glove. I'm pretty sure that's obvious. But anyway, I'm making a curve line over here. Um, and this and then making just like a little X okay like these are like the little stitches um, anyway and this is just the, the part that um, that helps you catch the baseball so it doesn't like fly through that gap all right and then we're gonna continue on with the fingers so we're gonna come down a little bit in this case I'm coming up looping around and then coming back down again Okay, and you just wanna make sure that you're making them all the same size, more or less, um, as far as thickness goes, by the way, okay? Um, as far as height, you just want them to come down little by little, each one, just a tiny bit. And this is the last one, and it's gonna curve around a bit more because it is, after all, the last one, okay? We'll come down like this. Okay, anyway, I had to fix it up a little bit, guys. I just rounded it out a bit. Um, okay, so we got her body. Now we're gonna draw a line right here, coming across, and then another stitch in here. All right, and then we're gonna make another line coming across here, just underneath the fingers like this. Okay, and then we're gonna um, draw another line from here, from up at the top of the thumb, and then down towards the edge. This is just to give her a little bit of uh, dimension to make her look more 3D, okay? Um, all right, and then we're gonna draw some dotted lines. There's one that goes down there, and then one that comes across like this. Now they are dotted, so, or little dashes. And then there's another one over here that comes down, and then, ends where the other one ended. Kind of, kind of looks like a diamond, more or less. A stretched out diamond. <laughs> All right, um, from here let's draw her hand, which is a semi-oval. And another hand right here, it's a little bit um, higher. And it comes down, comes in slightly. It looks more like a bean, kind of like this. Now we're gonna finish up the bottom, so we're gonna come straight across like that, okay? And then from here, let's finish up this line too, and it'll kind of merge in with the bottom, like that, okay? Now we're gonna start her mouth, and we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna make a, a line like this for her top lip. So kind of like a, like a curved line here. And then add some little lines on, on the sides, and then we're gonna come down, and come down on this side, like this. Now this might be a little too big and I might fix that, but it's no big deal. Um, go ahead and add a tongue and then her nose is just a tiny, tiny little curved line like that, okay? Now her eyes, we're gonna make a curved line again like this and then a semicircle joining the two sides like this, okay? And then um, once you get that nice round semicircle, we will draw a curved line inside and then we're gonna work on her pupil once we're done with that, which is a circle. So we're gonna come around, just slowly taking your time here. Perfect, okay. And then we'll draw a circle in there and a tiny one over there. These are the little glare spots in her eyes. And then of course her eyelashes like this. And uh, same thing on this side. So let's start off with that curved line again like this. And then coming up and around, semi-circle, like this. And then we'll draw a curved line in here. And then her pupil, which is in another circle. And then of course another circle inside, or two really, for the glare spots. Followed by three eyelashes, like that. 
So I am gonna go ahead and fix her mouth here. Um, it's in really, it's just making it, bringing it up a little bit. Um, so you don't really don't have to erase the whole thing like I did. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that top lip again, which is basically what I did the first time actually. It's just that bottom lip was, I think it was just too long and I wanna make it a little bit shorter, just a tiny bit. So there it is, so this is much better. And then of course her tongue. All right guys, well that is the end of Bailey Baseball Glove. Now I know some of you might be thinking, where are her feet? And I will add them towards the end of the video. I did not, uh, the picture that I was looking at, she did not have feet because they were being cut off. But later when I found another picture, I realized she does have feet. So anyway, I will add them um, later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's start coloring her. These are the colors that I will be using today. Starting from the left, we have a bluish gray color. It's more blue than gray, but it's not like your standard blue. Um, next, we have a black color for the eyes and such. Um, brown for the mouth. A purplish, this is a dark color. It's like a purplish red color for tracing. I have a red. Um, next, I have a purple, a pink, and then a dark pink or a hot pink. Starting off with the black, let's go ahead and trace her eyes and color in the pupil, of course. But don't, this time, don't color in that iris because this picture is a 3D picture, unlike the two dimensional pictures I've been doing. Um, so, we're going to actually give her eyes some color today. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and color this part in. All right, and then we're going to take our purple and we're going to trace the iris and we're also going to color it in. Now I'm gonna leave a tiny little bubble of white space in there for her glare spot, okay? So kind of, look, if you look at my picture, there's a little white spot in there. Um, it's kind of long, that's her glare. Um, and just do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, now I'm taking my dark purplish color here. It's like purplish red fuchsia maybe. Anyway, I'm tracing the entire picture. So if you need to hit the pause button so you have time to uh, go ahead and trace the picture, you can um, go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm taking my red and Right now I'm coloring in the tongue, but let's go ahead and just color in her whole mouth because when I look at the picture again, she doesn't actually have a tongue. Now I'm taking my brown and mixing it in with that red and I'm leaving it just like that. And now I'm taking my dark pink and I'm going to color in this little part here. I'm not gonna color in the stitches. I'm just gonna leave them um, as white as possible. And now I'm coming back to that purplish red color and I'm going to simply darken up the edges. This way I'm just kind of adding a little bit of a dimension to it, like this. Now I'm going back to that dark pink, that hot pink color, and I'm gonna color half of her hand here, just half of it, um, like this. And then I'm taking my blue color and I'm going to color in the second half, like that. And then back to my purplish red color, I'm just going to darken up the edges and give it some shadow. And so far she's coming out so cute, I love this one. All right, let's go ahead and color with our hot pink again. Color in the top half of this hand, followed by the blue for the bottom half. Okay, now I'll take that purplish red again and just darken up the edges to give it some dimension. And here we're taking our regular pink. And I'm going to, if you see here, I'm just drawing, drawing some curved lines and that's because she has some glare in each finger. So I'm gonna leave that part white. Now I'm drawing some ovals in here and that's because she also has some like glare spots on her fingers that's gonna end up being like a lighter pink. Um, okay, and then go ahead and fill in the rest of it. So go work around that little curved line and the little ovals that we just drew in and add as many layers as you need to to get her a nice solid pink color. I'm gonna end up doing this several times. Oh, and I also just drew, I'm leaving that part of her face alone because I'm gonna draw that in with the blue or color that in with the blue. Now I'm taking my same pink and I'm just lightly shading in these glare spots, very lightly, okay? Now back to our hot pink, our dark pink, I'm just gonna color in this strip over here that you see that I'm working on here. Okay, 
And then I'm taking my purplish red color here and I'm darkening up all of these edges here to give it some shadow all around. And I'm also darkening up these lines and down here as well, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and take our light pink again, our normal pink, and I'm just going to color in a little bit over here for her cheeks before we take the blue, okay? Um, and now let's switch to our blue and color in her face. So just add a nice layer or two, like this. I love the fact that she, they made her pink and blue. I think it's such a nice uh, combination. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take that, cur that purplish color again and we're just gonna darken up a little bit down here as well. Like that. All right guys, so here are her feet. Um, I just lightly sketched them in to see how it was gonna come out um, because I don't, she doesn't have feet in the picture that I was copying, so I had to kind of guess. So now I'm gonna darken it up so you can see how I did this. So I just kind of looped around like this. It's really not that hard. Just come um, out and around and draw a little line over there on the inside. And do the same thing here. We're just looping around like this, meeting to the other side, like that. Okay, so they kind of look like ovals that extend out a bit. Now taking that purplish color, we're gonna dart, trace these feet in. Then switch to our hot pink or our dark pink and we're gonna color in the back part of her foot. And same thing on this foot. And then switch to our blue. Color in the other half like this. And then take that purplish color here, that dark color, and we're just going to add some shadow by darkening up the edges, as well as the very ends of the feet. All right, guys, well, believe it or not, that is the end of this video. I think she came out so, so cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it taught you a thing or two about drawing and coloring. Um, if you did enjoy this video and it helped you out, hit the like button down below so we know, and leave us the name of another Season 5 Shotgun you want us to work on next. Well, guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.